What's up guys, your boy Darskin, and today we're going to be talking about why you should farm the Killer B Impact. Uh, big shout out to Anton Labs, he's the one that uh, posted all the translated info on Killer B on his Twitter page. Um, you can go follow him at Anton Labs on Twitter. Uh, big shout out to the Naruto Blazing Subreddit. So uh, anyways, let's go ahead and uh, get into it. So Super Impact B non-Blazing Awaken info. Starting off, he is uh, Cloud Village and uh, I believe Ninja Alliance. I believe that's what that is. 100 cost, but it goes down to uh, 50 cost, I believe. Once you max dupe him, so no problem there. Bravery type, 1100 HP, 1456 attack, long range. Pretty good stats for a long range for the play unit. Failed skill reduces chance of attack reduction by 30 to 35, which is kind of meh. But buddy skill boosts attack of bravery units by 250, which is pretty good. Uh, going on to Jutsu's. Uh, it's 510 Chakra. His Jutsu is 5 times attack and bravery damage to one enemy in range. 40% chance of immobilization for two turns and ignores their perfect dodge. So that's actually pretty good for PvE. You can immobilize people, which is that's pretty tight. Uh, Ultimate Jutsu, 10 Chakra. 9 times attack and bravery damage to all enemies in range and knocks them back. Um, I'm going to be doing a lot of different videos with this Killer B as far as PvE and PvP formats. So definitely stay tuned for that next week once I farm him on Global. So uh, stay tuned for that. Um, and his ultimate jutsu is, you know, self-explanatory. So um, PvP, 2,900, uh, well, 20,900 20, HP, 2,038 attack, 219 speed. That is max speed pill already, I think. Yeah, I think that, no, it's not. No, it's not. I'm drunk. I lied. Um, actually, is it? Hold on. No, it's not. It's no speed pill. So with speed pills, his speed goes to 249 as a PvE. So that's pretty good, actually. Um, this is all max limit broken, by the way. I just want you guys to know. Um, going on to abilities. Boost immobilization, 10%. Reduce being immobilized, 25. Boost immobilized, 10%. 300 healing a turn. Reduces chance of immobilized, 25%. So now his immobilization goes to 60% chance for two turns, which is pretty good. And it North perfect dodge, pretty good. Um, 300 healing a turn and 50% chance to not get immobilized. So uh, overall, his uh, abilities are all right. I mean, like it's a free unit, so you you don't not you're not gonna get anything too busted. Uh, sync skill, sync with cloud boost attack, sync with bravery boost attack. All right, pretty good. Overall, this killer bee is. Um, the PvE one is pretty good. Now we're gonna get to the busted stuff. This killer beat is nasty, right? So HP 1190, um, attack 1554, long range, like really good stats for you know free to play long range unit. Same field and buddy skill, easy. Uh, Jutsu and ultimate Jutsu. Uh, that's supposed to be 510 chakra, by the way. That's, those are both supposed to be 510 chakra. Um, four point, or well, it's supposed to be five and then ten chakra. Excuse me. Uh, anyway, so. Uh, 4.2 times attack and bravery damage to one enemy in range. Eight times attack and bravery damage to all enemies in range knocks them back. Even, but this is the PVE form. The PVP form, which we'll get into in a little bit, is way better. 32 times, um, 32,000 HP, 3,000 attack, 305 speed. So the speed goes to 335. That's actually really good for like a free, like as a free unit. He's just a really good free unit. I'm sorry. Anyways. Uh, 510 chakra again, six times attack and bravery damage to one enemy in range, 40% chance of speed down for two seconds, and reduces the chakra by one. So you can take chakra away from them, which is really good. Ultimate Jutsu, 10 chakra, 11 times attack and bravery damage to all enemies in range, knocks them back. Now, if you thought this killer beat didn't get any better, he does. Abilities reduce wisdom damage by 25, 250 heal, reduce chakra gods by one. He now becomes a 4 8 chakra unit really good restores 250 hp reduces bravery damage by 25 percent so now he tanks wisdom and bravery by 25 percent he's 4 8 chakra he reduces their speed and he takes a chakra away from them guys that is really good and then same sinking buddy skill so yeah do it why you should farm killer b as a Blazing Bash unit, he's insanely good, and the fact that he's free is insanely good. The man can slow you down, take away a chakra, 335 speed, 32,000 HP, 3,200 attack stat. He is really, really good. 
He is really good. You definitely, I know he's a bravery unit, and I know people are going to complain because with PvE, bravery is not the unit that you really want to have. But for PvP, it doesn't matter what element you are, right? It doesn't matter for PvP. But for PvE, uh, yeah, you know, I, I kind of understand. But it's like not everybody has six path Nar Naruto. Not everybody has six path modern. So if you don't have them, not everybody has a Max Duke Ultimate PvP Tsunade. So if you don't, this one is the unit for you. By the way, this Killer B heals more than the Tsunade. The PvP Tsunade, by the way. As far as abilities. Now, if you factor in Tsunade's field skill, buddy skill, and abilities, she heals more, I think. But, as far as abilities, she heals more. I think she heals like 300 or 400. So yeah. Uh, definitely farm this killer bee. I know some people are going to be like, oh, well, how can I farm him? It's an SS rank, super, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to have a video going out telling you guys how to beat it later on uh, in the week. And um, I'm going to be probably, I don't know, but I'm, I'm probably going to drop a video telling you guys how you can get this killer bee without um, without uh, grinding SS rank also. So anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Be sure to give a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, comment down below. Tell me what you guys think in the comment section below. That being said, I'll see you guys next time. Peace.